Well, let's change gears now and turn to the weather. And Matt Wentz, I'm not sure we could have had a more Thanks. beautiful weather day. It's, if, to me, this was as close to perfect as you could get. Um, I'm going to make your weather word difficult, though. Um, I'm going to give you as your weather word today improvement. So if you can, try to come up with an improvement on what we had today. I'm getting greedy, Matt, I know. Jay, it's okay. Listen, I'm up for a challenge, especially being off for a week. So I, I definitely appreciate that. It's it's hard enough just to connect to the internet, but uh, improvement. We we can do that. Not weather wise, right, but uh, we'll we'll work that into the forecast. And Jay, uh, a heartfelt from my entire family. Congratulations, uh, Grandpa Jay. We are so proud of you. Uh, you're going to be you. a wonderful grandpa. I'm sure you've been planning this. So good stuff. All right, let's talk May. It is now June first, so we close the book on May. What a wild month we had, right? We had a below average start, a below average middle, and then we went to the above average temperatures towards the latter half of the month. Overall, when we talk about high temperatures, we had 15 days above average, 16 below. And the reason why I never use the word normal because we had zero normal days, right? It's never normal. It's never average. It's either above or below, uh, at least most of the time. And temperatures today, as Jay mentioned, it's just perfect outside. These are thermostat settings. We're in the low to mid 70s, a little bit cooler near the lakeshore. Uh, but the thing that's making it so comfortable outside, we've lost that humidity. Dew points, when they get up into the 50s, you start to feel it. 60s, that's when we call it humid. This is another incredibly dry air mass we have. Dew points in the 30s right now. There's hardly any moisture. You go out for a run tonight, you're not even going to sweat no matter how hard you work because this dry air continues to come in for Canada. But ah, this time of year, that humidity is not far off. Look down to our south and the west. We've got humid air that's going to work in here over the next 24 hours. Big picture looks like this. You don't see a whole lot of clouds around right now, but we have high clouds working in from the west. That should make for a nice sunset. So all you sunset buffs, get the camera ready. I think we'll have a nice one tonight. You can see showers and thunderstorms not far off in areas of the north woods of Wisconsin and up towards Marquette. The bigger picture, though, we've got a dome of heat out in the plains. We've got showers and thunderstorms that rotate along that. This is a typical summertime pattern. We call it the ring of fire where you get thunderstorms that pop where that warmer air meets the cooler air. And we're going to be right on that boundary over the next couple days. So we'll have these periods of showers and storms with many dry hours in between. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. You can see a little bit of an improvement overnight tonight with temperatures. We'll be a little bit warmer up near 60. I think tomorrow morning we may have some leftover showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. The best chance is north and east. I think most of us are dry. By afternoon, we're looking great. But then Wednesday, things start to change. Universal Windows Direct seven day forecast. You can see sh scattered storms in the forecast on Wednesday. Some of those could be strong as the cold front moves through. Cooler and drier on Thursday. And then back into the weekend, it looks like another refresher after some Friday storms. 70s, low humidity. I think we'll take it. So, you guys excited about that forecast? Just say yes. Uh, there it is. Delayed, Jay. That's not a delay. That is my, the delay here. So back to you. That's okay. Thanks. You got the jump. By the way, I need plans to that beautiful playhouse that you have over your right shoulder. We'll talk mm. off, the, off the air.